we're going to look at how you can derive the sum of the angles in a polygon. And we're going to use this as an example of how powerful it is to be able to see shapes within other shapes. In other words, to be able to cut up a shape into other known shapes. Let's have a look. If we wanted to know what the sum of the angles in this quadrilateral is, what we can do is cut the quadrilateral up into two triangles. This is helpful because we know the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. So those three angles add together to give you 180. And in the second triangle, the same story is true as well. And so now we can see that the sum of the angles of the quadrilateral is just the equivalent of two triangles. So it's 2 times 180, which is 360. Similarly, if we move on to a pentagon, Again, our ability to visualize the pentagon as being made up of triangles will help us to be able to derive the sum of the angles in a pentagon. So what we have is three triangles. The sum of the angles in each of these is 180. And so if we look at the sum of all the angles in the pentagon altogether, we will get that it is the equivalent of three triangles, which is three times 180, which is 540. Now you can give this kind of example to your learners to explore, and it's quite a nice um, little exploration project. They can then go on to have a look at, well, what will happen with a hexagon? And again, that ability to visualize the triangles within the hexagon will enable the learners to see that the hexagon is made up of four triangles and so it is, it's the sum of its interior angles will be 180 times 4, which is 720. Now here comes a really nice idea that this then, you can see, can be combined with the pattern work and ideas of pattern to be able to then move towards deriving a general formula. Because what we've seen is that a quadrilateral, four sides, is made up of two triangles. A pentagon, five sides, is made up of three triangles. A hexagon, six sides, is made up of four triangles. And so a polygon with ten sides will be made up of eight triangles. And so it, the sum of its interior angles will be 180 times 8. And of course then n sides... If polygon has n sides, its interior angles will add up to 180 multiplied by n minus 2.